Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The first U.S. Panthera is ready for flight. ULA and SpaceX are awarded national security space launch contracts. And the 99th with a new president. I'm Sophie Herlock. Wright Rudder Aviation, an FBO, flight school and aircraft dealer located in Inverness, Florida, has taken delivery of a new Pipistrel Panthera, high-performance four-place aircraft, the first of its kind in North America. The Panthera is a curvy composite aircraft made of mostly carbon fiber with retractable gear, a T-tail, and an all-glass panel. The aircraft boasts a 1,000 nautical mile range, 200 knots at 10 gallons per hour, and a full fuel payload of 760 pounds. It has the ability to climb at 1,200 feet per minute and land at 1,900 feet over a 50-foot obstacle. An airframe parachute is part of the package, and while the first aircraft come with a Lycoming IO540 engine, two other versions scheduled for the future will utilize electric or hybrid power plant configurations. When we return, NASA maps the damage done by the Beirut explosion. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. NASA's Advanced Rapid Imaging and Analysis Team, in collaboration with the Earth Observatory of Singapore, used satellite-derived synthetic aperture radar data to map the damage done by the massive explosion in Beirut on August 4th. Synthetic aperture radar data shows ground surface changes from before and after a major event. On the map, the dark red pixels at and around the port of Beirut represent the most severe damage, and each pixel represents an area of 30 meters. The explosion occurred near the city's port and killed more than 150 people and is estimated to have caused billions of dollars worth of damage. Valencia signed a teaming agreement with the North Carolina Department of Transportation to begin commercial middle-mile drone delivery projects in the state. The two will work together with the FAA to gather data on drone delivery programs and how they could be incorporated into current transportation infrastructure regulations. Initially, Valancey plans to perform tests and visual line-of-sight cargo delivery flights under Part 107 with the intent to add more projects with additional waivers and permissions from the NC, DOT, and the FAA. In partnership with Umlaut and Era Light, Ember has unveiled the Phenom 300 MED Medevac configuration, which is also available through Retrofit through Embraer's service and support organization. The aircraft is designed as an ideal solution for both civil and government applications, featuring hospital-grade trim and finishing. Embraer and Umlaut are currently developing a comprehensive set of configuration alternatives for the aircraft, which will feature up to two stretchers, as well as the ability to carry an incubator and additional medical equipment. The U.S. Parachute Association is still trying to determine if the 2020 USPA Nationals can be conducted safely while ensuring competitors of all disciplines will be able to compete. On July 30th, it was decided that Skydive City Zephyr Hills in Florida would no longer host the 2020 USPA National Skydiving and Parachuting Championships due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. After this cancellation, the USPA Competition Committee met again to discuss a bid placed by Skydive Arizona to host nationals, but the bid was withdrawn from consideration. The committee is now open bidding to all group member drop zones for this year's nationals and will consider all bids on August 14th. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. 
affordable, and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. SpaceX and United Launch Alliance have been awarded two firm fixed price and definite delivery requirement contracts for National Security Space Launch Services by the Space and Missile Systems Center in partnership with the National Reconnaissance Office. The award should add up to $1 billion per year on launches and represents nearly three dozen launches scheduled between 2022 and 2026, split 60% for ULA and 40% for SpaceX. ULA has already been assigned USS F-51 and USS F-106, scheduled for launch in the second and fourth quarter of fiscal year 2022, while SpaceX has been assigned USS F-67, also scheduled for launch in the fourth quarter of fiscal year 2022. Task orders for the launch service support and launch service contracts will be issued to ULA for $337 million and SpaceX for $316 million for launch services to meet fiscal year 2022 launch dates. Future launch services will be placed on subsequent task orders by mission and will be publicly announced upon issuance. Corby Bullock has been named as the international president of the 99th International Organization of Women Pilots for 2020 to 2022. Before being named as president, Bullock served as the organization's vice president, director, and in several committees, including chairman of strategic planning. She designed the framework for Friends of the 99s and also served as the governor of the 8th state southeast section. After earning a master's degree in education, Bullock taught 6th through 9th grade for eight years before pursuing an aviation career. She was a flight instructor at Flight Safety International in Vero Beach, Florida, before flying for six years for Atlantic Southeast Airlines, a Delta Airlines regional airline, earning the rank of captain on the EMB-120. Bullock retired in 2018 from the North Carolina Department of Transportation, having spent 20 years as their first female pilot and an executive pilot flying state officials and high-precision aerial photography. She remains as a contract pilot with the state. And that wraps up our show for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to like, subscribe, and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. To get the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, just head over to aero-news.net. I hope you had a great start to your week. I'll see you again on Wednesday.